nakatingin at nakatutok sa amin from the beginning of the year up to the end of the year. We give you praise. We receive everything that Jesus, Lord, uh, purchased from the cross uh, and the cross for us today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Tayo po ay, bago po tayo tumayong po ay batiin po natin ng Happy New Year ang ating mga kapatid. Sige, umikot kayo hanggang sa likod. sa gagawin ng Panginoon sa bawat pamilya sa Rema. Ipinananalangin po namin na lahat tayo ay makareceive ng breakthrough ngayong taong ito. Amen. And we have declared that this year is a year of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah! So, alam natin na napakahalaga po nun. Sa umagang ito, nais ko po na magpahayag sa inyo patungkol sa banal na espirito. <laughs> Amen! Bakit mahalaga ang banal na espirito at bakit mahalaga na siya ay tanggapin natin at hindi lamang natin tanggapin pagkatapos ay isasantabi. Amen. Ngunit gagawin natin ang banal na Espiritu. This year, we are going to allow the Holy Spirit to lead us. He will be our leader this year. Amen. It doesn't mean that we are going to neglect the Word because we can, the Holy Spirit cannot function without the Word. Amen po. So, ang title ko po today is, We are going to receive the Holy Spirit today. Prepare your hearts to be filled to overflowing. We are going to drink from the river of life. Amen. Amen. Are you ready? Okay. So, alam nyo po, napakahalaga na magkaroon tayo. Sandali lang ito, I hope, hindi ko i-elaborate masyado. You don't have to open your Bibles. Bibilisan lang po natin. Uh, ang text po na aking uh, sisir sa inyo, ay napakarami pong verses. I don't want you to take notes today. You, I just want you to listen. Amen. I-email ko sa mga cell leaders ang mga notes. Hallelujah. Ang mga notes. Kasi sobrang napakadami. Gusto ko lang, I just want the Holy Spirit as we read the verses that I'm going to show in the Easy Worship. Gusto ko lang na i-take natin lahat. Let's just drink from the fountain of, the, of life. Amen? Sa John 7.37, sabi po dito, On the last day, that great day of the feast, this is referring to the last day of the feast of the tabernacles, kung saan ang mga Israelita, pagkatapos nilang umani ng masaganang ani, 
ay nagkakaroon sila ng feast. Katulad nung alam ba ninyo yung sa Quezon, yung dinidisplay lihat ng mga produce nila doon. This is a seven-day feast at ang climax ng feast na ito, mamaya ako nasasabihin, basahin ko muna. On the last day that, of that great day of the feast, the Feast of the Tabernacles, Jesus stood and cried out saying, If anyone thirst, let him come to me and drink. He who believes in me, as the scripture has said, out of his heart or out of his belly will flow rivers. Sabi mo, rivers of living water. Rivers of living water. But this is spoke concerning the Holy Spirit, whom those believing on him in him would receive. For the Spirit was not yet given, because Jesus was not yet glorified. But Jesus has been glorified. This river is available. Amen to all of us. And this uh, this living water is living it's alive, it's working it's flowing, it's moving it does not stop moving, you don't wait for it, you will have to be overtaken by it you just have to be in the right place, to be wet and to submerge to be, to be drowned hindi kayo madadrown <laughs> hallelujah so ito daw ay yung living waters yung sinasabi na inaawit natin come to the fountain, come to the rivers of life this is a symbol of the Holy Spirit why the Holy Spirit? number one point the new birth is not the fullness of our salvation once you got born again that's just the beginning of God filling you with His fullness until you are finished or complete Amen. In your spirit, you are complete. But in your body and in your mind, you have to renew your mind. We have to, we have to, uh, to be full with the fullness of God in our lives. Amen. So, na, grade 1 lang. Prep lang yung new birth natin. Sabi po sa Galatians 3, 3, 13 to 14, sabi po niya, Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law, having become a curse for us. For it is written, Cursed is everyone who hangs on a tree, that the blessing of Abraham might come upon the Gentiles in Christ Jesus. That is the promise. The blessing of Abraham will come to us. Amen. The Gentiles in Christ Jesus that we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. Amen. Mahalaga, mararanasan natin itong blessing na ito through the Holy Spirit. Amen. Napakahalaga po. Bakit kailangan natin, why do we need to be born again? Okay? Adam when God breathed into his nostril the breath of life, the Hebrew Bible said, he became another speaking spirit. Amen. So when God breathed into his nostril the breath of life, breathed into his nostril the breath of life, ibinigay niya yung kanyang uh, nature. Okay. But Adam chose to embrace sin. So he was disconnected from the life of God. Amen? Nung, nung, nung ibinigay sa kanya ni Lord yung life niya, but because Adam chose to, to believe Satan, Lucifer, rather than God, he was dis- disconnected. Brothers and sisters, heaven and earth are divinely connected. Amen? When, when Adam uh, chose to obey or chose to believe Satan, he was disconnected from the spiritual realm and his domain, all of us, has been disconnected from our spiritual authority. Meron tayong we are supposed to rule and reign in this life, in this world, but because of Adam's failure, uh, we all fell. We all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. So we need to be reconnected into that life. And Jesus came to reconnect us into that life so that we can re-enter that spiritual realm of authority. Kaya mahalaga po na maborn again tayo. But it doesn't mean when we got born again, we will already experience the fullness of God. Hindi pa po. Kasi dyan dumadating. That is where the ministry of the Holy Spirit will come. Okay? So you don't stop at being born again. Amen. Okay. So, the spiritual realm was opened to us by Jesus through His blood. Amen? Kaya sinabi natin, come see the blood. And while we were singing that, the Lord, the, 
just impressed in my heart that the Bible was drenched with blood. Amen. And daming taong namatay because of the word. So we have to we have to value and appreciate the word of God. Ephesians 2 verse 13 says, But now in Christ Jesus, you who once were far off have been brought near by the blood of Christ. We were reconciled to God. We were reconnected to our spirit, uh, spiritual authority because of the blood. Hebrews 10, 19, 20, Therefore, brethren, having boldness to enter the holiest by the blood of Jesus, by a new and living way. Amen. Which He consecrated for us through the veil that is His flesh. Yung kanyang, yung kanyang katawan na, na, na tinusok dito doon, dumanak ang dugo. Amen? Sa pamamagitan ng katawan. Okay. Napakahalaga ang banal na espiritu, brothers and sisters. Kasi, dahil, dahil, dahil lahat ng ginawa ng ating Panginoon may experience natin sa Holy Spirit. But before we go, we, we go to that, ang, ang ating, ang, ang spiritual life natin, nakakonek sa spirit ng Panginoon kung ang ating spirit ay maboborn again, mabubuhay. Kasi walang spirito na makaka-communicate sa spirito ng Diyos kung patay ang spirito mo. Amen? Kaya sabi sa John 3.5, you must be born again. Sabi sa 3.5, you must, uh, Jesus said, uh, assuredly I say to you, unless one is born of the water and the spirit. The water pertaining to the word that cleanses and spirit, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Your spirit must be born again through the work of the Holy Spirit. Ang example ni Jesus ito, if you remember in John 20, 22, He said to the disciples, Receive the Holy Spirit. And He breathed on them. This was the same as in Genesis 2, 7 when the Lord, uh, when God Jehovah breathed life into Adam. Amen. Kapareho nun. But what Jesus, when, when Jesus uh, said to the disciples, uh, receive the Holy Spirit. He imparted much, uh, a, a, a much more than, more than what was imparted by Jehovah. Because this time, what the Lord Jesus imparted is the Spirit that will that that will enable you to rise up above the throne of the devil, so that you can trample him under your feet. Amen. 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 Mahalaga po yon. So, how important is the Holy Spirit to God's plan for mankind? Gano'ng kahalaga ang banal na Espiritu sa plano ng Diyos sa buhay mo at sa buhay ko? Sabi ng Panginoon, I know the plans I have for you, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you a hope and a future. Then you will call on me and I will answer you. Amen. So, ang Holy Spirit Everything came to being by the Word. Sabi mo, the Word. That is the Word of God. By the Word, through, sabi niya, the Holy Spirit. Word and Spirit. You remember when, when we have this, we used to sing, Welcome to Rema. We prayed for you. We longed for you. Di ba? Uh, you are welcome. We're glad you came. May the Spirit of God speak to your heart. Word and Spirit dwell in you. Amen. You cannot, uh, the Holy Spirit cannot work without the Word. The Word cannot be uh, made alive without the Holy Spirit. They work together, side by side. Okay, so alam natin yon. The pattern was established in Genesis 1. 1. Genesis uh, 1 verse 2. The earth was without form and void, and darkness was on the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God was hovering over the face of the water. And God said, let there be light, and there was light. That was the pattern for us. We speak the word, and the Holy Spirit moves to perform the word. So the pattern is the word and the spirit. When you say, I am healed, the Holy Spirit works to heal you. When you say, I am blessed, I am more than a conqueror. So you declare the word, diba? That is holding fast to your confession. Amen. So we speak the word. Uh, Psalm 103, uh, verse 105, verse 20, or 103, verse 20. Amen. The angels excel in strength when they hear the word of God. Amen. Amen. 
Amen. So, how did Jesus come? Okay, number two. Every part of Jesus' life, ministry, and redemptive work was by the Holy Spirit. Okay, if we, we are, we are the church. We are the body of Christ. Jesus is now in heaven, seated at the right hand of the Father. But we are seated together with Him in the heavenly places because we have authority by virtue of the blood and the salvation that we receive. Tama. Tama po. Everything that Jesus did was by the Holy Spirit. What made you think that you can function as a Christian without the Holy Spirit? Amen. So let us see how Jesus come, okay? The Word became flesh. So Jesus came as a Word. Who brought the Word to Jesus? The angel Gabriel. Amen. Sabi ni, ni Mary, Be it unto me according to thy Word. And in Luke 1.35, Spirit came upon Mary. She said, and the angel answered and said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the highest will overshadow you. Whose power is that? God Jehovah. They are distinct persons. The Holy Spirit, God Jehovah, will overshadow you. Okay? And therefore, that holy thing, or the holy one, who is to be born, who is that? The Word. The Trinity, working together. Amen? The Word, who is to be born, will be called the Son of God. Jesus came as a Word by the power of the Holy Spirit. Brothers and sisters, when you meditate on just this verse alone, Everything that you want to be manifested in your life will become flesh Amen. by the Holy Spirit. Amen. So, how did Jesus enter the ministry? How was, how, he was born because of the Holy Spirit, by the Word, through the Holy Spirit. When He was baptized and while He was still praying, Luke 3, 21 to 22 says, When all the people were baptized, it came to pass that Jesus also was baptized. And while he prayed, the heaven was opened, and the Holy Spirit, say Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit descended in bodily form like a dove upon him, and a voice came from heaven which said, You are my beloved Son, in you I am well pleased. Amen. Those who pleases God. Amen. The Holy Spirit will descend on you. Amen. But when you invite the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit will come to you. Amen. How did Jesus qualify for the ministry? How will we qualify for the ministry? How will we qualify for the calling of God in our lives? Look for 1 and 2. Then Jesus, being filled with the Holy Spirit, returned from the Jordan and was led by the Spirit into the wilderness. Being tempted for 40 days and by the devil. You have to be failed. Sabi mo, kailangang mapuspos ka to qualify for the ministry. Luke 4, 14, 15. Then Jesus returned in the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. When you are filled with the Holy Spirit, you are filled with power. Amen. Amen. Sabi niya, return in the power of the Spirit to Galilee, and news of him went out through all the surrounding region, and he taught in their synagogues, being glorified by all. There are people who do ministry, but they don't have the Holy Spirit. Amen? They don't create impact. You are just serving yourself. Amen. We have to be filled with the Holy Spirit and to be full of His power to create an impact in the kingdom of God. Otherwise, nagsisirko lang tayo, paikot-ikot, walang nangyayari sa buhay natin. We are just, well, having a religion, not a relationship. So, 50 years ka na sa ministry, naglilingkod ka, wala pang nangyaring pagbabago sa buhay mo. Kung chismoso ka doon, chismoso ka pa rin. Amen. How did Jesus fulfill? So Jesus qualified because he was full of the Holy Spirit and he was full of power. Amen. How did he fulfill his ministry? How are we going to fulfill our ministry? How are we going to fulfill our destiny in this church as an individual, as families? 
Amen. Look for 18:19. The spirit of the Lord is upon me. Sabihin mo nga ito. Lagay mo yung kamay mo sa ulo mo. Sabihin mo with all your heart, the spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the broken-hearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and recovery of sight to the blind to set at liberty those who are oppressed, and to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord. Amen. 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 Acts 10, 38, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with power who went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. You have to go about. You have to move. Because the Holy Spirit is always moving. If you don't move and you just stay here in this sanctuary or in your house, not going anywhere, the Holy Spirit will leave you. Nalagpasan ka. Amen? Oh, nagdi-devotion ako. Eh, 12 years ka nang nagdi-devotion. It's time to go. Go and make disciples. Amen. Go and share the gospel. Go to Isabella. Go to Quezon. <laughs> Hallelujah. Okay. Now, how did so he fulfill his ministry? By the power of the Holy Spirit. What makes you think you can fulfill your ministry by your own power? <laughs> you will be stressed out. How did the cross actually work? Hebrews 9.14 How much more surely shall the blood of Christ, who by virtue of His eternal spirit, His own pre-existent divine personality, Jesus is God. He pre-existed. Amen? He has offered Himself as an unblemished sacrifice to God, purified, purify our consciences from dead works and lifeless observances to serve the ever-living God. Amen? That's how the cross actually worked. Kaya ngayon, the cross, the blood of Jesus, the Spirit has the power to purge our conscience. We can, we can forget uh, our sins, bad memories, our old life, and start anew as new creations in Christ. Amen? And we have the power to do that. Okay? But you have to choose to do it. You, you, have to, you can choose to linger in your past. You, have, you can choose not to live. Katulad ni what, uh, sino ba yung nag si Pastor, Pastor Cesar, kayo po ba? You have to make a decision to leave that place. Amen. And move forward. Forgetting those that are behind. How was he raised from the dead? How was Jesus raised from the dead? Brothers and sisters, we are all dead in trespass. Lahat tayo patay. Amen? Pero paano tayo muling nabuhay? 1 Timothy 3.16 And without controversy, great is the mystery of godliness. Can you read with me? God was manifested in the flesh, justified in the spirit. You are justified because of the Holy Spirit. You are justified means as if you did not sin. Amen. Amen. Okay. Sin by angels, preach among the Gentiles, believe on in the world, receive up in glory. Amen. Amen. This was how Jesus was raised from the dead. Amen. 1 Peter 3, 18, 19, For Christ also suffered once for sins, the just for the unjust, that He might bring us to God, being put to death in the flesh, but made alive by the Spirit. Brothers and sisters, we can put to death our carnalities, our carnal nature, if we allow the Holy Spirit to minister to us. But you know, the Holy Spirit is a gentle spirit. He will not force you. You have to make a decision. You have to choose to always uh, walk by the Spirit. Walk in the Spirit. Walking in the Spirit, meaning walking in the Word. 
Amen. You don't walk in the Word today and tomorrow walk on your own and then go back to the Word. You're back to zero. Amen. Walang pag-asenso sa buhay. Born again ka, save ka, praise the Lord isang araw, masasave ka, but on earth, amen, you were not victorious. Wala kang napagwagian, hindi ka nagamit ng Panginoon. You may choose not to receive the Holy Spirit and live just the way you are, but brothers and sisters, anyway, uh, you will live forever. Amen? E eh, sinorten mo yung pagpunta mo sa langit. Kasi kung wala kang banal na espirito, walang maglilid sa'yo, walang mag-guide sa'yo. Amen po. Madali kang mamatay. Pag nagkasakit ka, patay ka na. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. So nakita natin, gusto kong ma-realize ninyo kung gano'ng kahalaga ang Holy Spirit sa buhay natin. Because most of us, including me, we ignore the Holy Spirit. We take the Holy Spirit for granted. We don't even consult the Holy Spirit by our decisions. Hindi ba? And He is walking alongside us. Wherever we go, kasama natin siya. Pag nagdi-decide ka gumagawa ka ng palpak, nandun siya. How can you do those things in the presence of the Holy Spirit? You are despising the Holy Spirit and you are insulting the Spirit of Grace. Amen! Once na nireceive mo ang Panginoon, indwelled sa iyo ang Holy Spirit. But you can either allow Him to be full in your life or you can suppress Him and grieve Him because the Holy Spirit is a person. Sabi mo, the Holy Spirit is a person. He decides. He feels. Amen. He can feel. He is jealous for your attention and your worship. Sabi sa James, the Holy Spirit is jealous about you. Amen. Okay. Everything that God did for men came by the work of the Holy Spirit. Lahat, lahat ng bagay na gagawin ng Diyos sa buhay mo, ginawa niya na mabuti at gagawin pa niya sa buhay mo, nagawa niya yan dahil sa banal na Espiritu. If you want to do exploits for God today, if you want to become a wonder to many, If you want to experience miracles, signs, wonders in your life, if you want to get your financial breakthrough, if you want to get your total freedom and liberty, if you want to have a peaceful home, if you want to have a joyful home, it has to be by the work of the Holy Spirit and the Word of God. Apart from it, wala. Wala po. Walang, wala po saysay ang buhay natin. Amen. So, we are born again by the Spirit. John 3.5 Jesus answered, Most assuredly, I say, I say to you, unless you are born of water and the Spirit, He cannot enter or see the kingdom of God. Amen. Di ka makakapasok. Love in our hearts is shed by the Holy Spirit. Romans 5.5 We cannot love God. We cannot love other people. We cannot love the brothers without the Holy Spirit shedding. Amen. The love of God in our hearts. Amen. Galatians 5.22-23 All joy. Ayan. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against us there is no law. You know why you don't have self-control? You don't allow the Holy Spirit to reign in your life. Ang nagko-control sa iyo yung will mo, hindi yung Holy Spirit ang naglilid sa iyo. Why are we Why are we depressed? Because we allow depression to come in. Why, 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 while we can by speaking in tongues, amen, and by inviting the Holy Spirit to draw from that well of joy that is already in our spirit man. It's already in us. All the peace, all the joy, all the love, all the long-suffering, all the self-control is already in our born-again nature. You just have to draw it out. Amen? So kung ikaw ay natitempt, you draw from within you. Amen? That's a Ephesians 3.20 that is at work in you. And that is the work of the Holy Spirit in you. Amen. Okay. The kingdom of God is not of meat, drink, but of righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy 
Ghost. Romans 5.13, we abound in hope by the Holy Ghost. Bakit ang mga tao nawawalan ng pag-asa? Maririnig ninyo yung uh, shooting in Connecticut. Connecticut, di ba? And then may shooting sa Cavite, Philippines version. Amen? Meron doon na barog na tao, lahat ng nakita, binaril. And sometimes, with what is happening uh, outside, in this world, we get to lose hope, di ba? But if we have the Holy Spirit in our hearts, we will not lose hope. Amen? Hallelujah! May pag-asa ba ang mga tagarema? Yes! We have a big God! Amen! Okay, so... Uh, Romans uh, 15, 19, Paul said that all Christ had done through him, his preaching, the signs and wonders was through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen? In mighty signs and wonders by the power of the Holy Spirit. You can lay hands on the sick and they will recover. It's because the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit is working through you. Amen? When you magnify the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit will do exploits in your life. Amen. We crucify the flesh by the Holy Spirit. Romans 8.13 For if you live according to the flesh, you will die. But if by the Spirit you put to death the, de the, de the deeds of the body, you will live. How many Christians are living according to their flesh? You are still submitting to the desires of your flesh. How can you overcome? You overcome by the Holy Spirit. Amen. Nakakalungkot na tayo. We trade eternity for moments of pleasure. That is very unwise. The Holy Spirit is the spirit of wisdom. Why? Alam nyo, minsan namamangha ako, wala tayong fear of the Lord. Amen? Reverence for God. Amen? Hallelujah! <laughs> Hallelujah! Hallelujah! The Holy Spirit is here. John 16.13 uh, uh, Romans 8.16 The Holy Spirit assures us we are God's children. We are no longer of the devil. We are the children of God. We have the nature of God. We think like God. We speak like God. We act like God. We are a holy people. Amen? Declare, uh, called to declare His praise. Amen? John 16.13 He guides us into all truth so that we will not be deceived. Revealing God's word. Amen. So God, we God's will and God's voice. However, when He, the Spirit of Truth, has come, He will guide you into all truth, for He will not speak of His own authority, but whatever He hears, He hears from God, from the Lord Jesus. He will speak and He will tell you things to come. You will know what business to go into. You will know what stock to purchase in the stock market. You will know who to marry. Alam nyo, pagka nagkamarakali kayo sa papapangasawa nyo, sorry. You become a sorry thing forever. Amen. Sasabihin niya sa inyo kung ano dapat ang kurso na ipuperso ninyo. Saan kayo dapat magtatrabaho? Saan kayo magsuserve na ministry? Amen. He will tell you things to come. We are not ignorant about the things that will come because of the Holy Spirit in us. If you only allow, if you only give Him time to speak to us, Amen, and clear our heart with all the clutters, makakarinig ang puso natin. Ang problema, ang puso natin, ang daming, ang daming weeds, ang daming, ano ba yun? Dawag, ano? Ang daming damo, ang daming hindi makarinig. Choke! Choke yung salita at ang banal na espirito. Alam mo, isa sa dapat natin gawin ngayong taon na to, let us allow the Holy Spirit to just clear our hearts. Clean it. Prepare our hearts for the big things that God has prepared for us this year. Amen. You have to first uh, uh, destroy so that you can construct. Amen. Amen. 
Aleluya. Okay. So John 4:24, John 16:13, the future is revealed by the Holy Spirit. John 4:24, our worship, we worship God in spirit and in truth. It's our born again spirit that worships God. Amen. Ang hindi acceptable ang worship ng mga hindi born again. The worship offered by the religious who are not born again is not acceptable to the Lord because the Spirit of God do not recognize them. Kaya, napakahalaga ang worship natin ng mga born again. Because our spirit is born again and we are worshiping a spirit. So, there is a communication, there is a, a flow that is happening. Amen. Okay, and uh, our bodies are quickened now and at the resurrection by the Holy Spirit. Romans 8, 11. Our bodies are quickened now. If you need healing, you are paralyzed. Your veins are stuck. They are hardened. The Holy Spirit can quicken them and make them alive. You have a foretaste of glory. We have a deposit of the Spirit. The Holy Spirit, what He will do in the resurrection is He will raise our mortal bodies. But now, the Holy Spirit can quicken every part of your body that is not functioning. Your, your pancreas is not functioning. You can ask the Holy Spirit to quicken it. Wala dapat kristyano na nagkakasakit. Because we have the Holy Spirit in us. The deposit that will guarantee that we will have a glorified body in the future. So kung in the future kailangan mo ng glorified body, ba't ka nagtitiis ngayon na pipilay-pilay sa rayuma mo? E meron kang banal na espirito. Ay sus! Hallelujah! Praise, God, praise the Lord. Di kayo niniwala? Di kayo excited di. Eh. <laughs> Hallelujah. Ephesians 1.3 Every blessing is given by the Holy Spirit. Zechariah 12.10 The Spirit of Grace. He is the Spirit of Grace and Supplication. That's why our prayers are answered. That's why we receive salvation. That's why we receive grace for grace. That's why we can grow in grace because of the Holy Spirit. That's why we can grow in the grace of love, in the grace of faith, in the grace of forgiveness because of the Holy Spirit. Amen? Amen. He is the Spirit. Isaiah 11 too. The Holy Spirit, the Spirit of the Lord shall rest a read. The Spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him. The Spirit of wisdom. Ops! Sino sa inyo ang gustong magnegosyo? Gustong tumalino? You ask the Holy Spirit. He is the Spirit of wisdom and understanding. Amen! The Spirit of counsel. Nalilito kayo? Hindi ninyo alam kung anong gagawin nyo? Confused kayo? You should not be confused. The spirit of counsel and might. What, e what else? The spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord. Marami sa atin, mahal natin ang Panginoon pero hindi tayo takot sa, ay mahal naman ako ni Lord, hindi niya ako i-judge. Wala kang fear of the Lord. Kaya gusto ko, ano, anyway, we are under the dispensation of grace. I can do what I want to do. I have the license to sin. No. Amen? Amen? Ang kasalanan, di mo kailangan bigyan ng lisensya ang tao pagka magkasala. Amen? With or without license, he is sinning beautifully, perfectly, secretly. But if a person is truly born again, Amen? Maridiri siya sa kasalanan. Hallelujah! This year, I declare that this church will be a holy church. Yeah. Amen. 2 Corinthians 3.17 He is the spirit of liberty. Walang pagkagapos. 
Hindi ka pwedeng, hindi, walang, wala, hindi ka magagapos sa bisyo, hindi ka nakagapos sa kahirapan, kasi ang banal na espiritu ang nagpapalaya. Hindi ka nakagapos sa pita ng laman, hindi ka nakagapos sa maling relasyon. You will have the power and the grace to uh, cut off all those relationships. Amen. Mga soul ties na wala sa lugar. The Holy Spirit can cut those off. You just have to allow. Alam nyo, brothers and sisters, the Holy Spirit can only work on our behalf if we allow Him. Because He's a gentle spirit. Amen? Kung hindi kayo willing mag-submit sa Kanyang leadership, hindi niya kayo pipilitin. Hallelujah! Okay. And the Holy Spirit is the guarantee of a glorified body. 2 Corinthians 5, 4 to 5. He is the Spirit of God and He is the Spirit of glory. 1 Peter 4, 14. Sige nga. If you are reproached for the name of Christ, blessed are you for the Spirit of glory and the Spirit of God rest upon you. On their part, He is blasphemed, but on your part, He is glorified. Brothers and sisters, those are just some of the things that the Holy Spirit wants and longs to do in our lives. But we have to submit to His leadership. We have to receive the Holy Spirit. Alam nyo po, Ang Panginoong Jesus doon sa binasa natin kanina, hindi tayo pwedeng magtagumpay sa ating buhay kristyano. Hindi tayo makakalika. We cannot create impact in the kingdom of God until we receive and we function according to the Holy Spirit, to the will of the Holy Spirit. Kaya kailangan ng Holy Spirit ang may leadership sa ating buhay. ba? Kaya in, in the succeeding uh, Sundays, we are going to uh, teach on how to be led by the Holy Spirit, how to listen to His voice, how to be sensitive to the moving of the Holy Spirit, how to make the Holy Spirit your daily moment by moment guide, instructor, reveal Feeler. Amen. Kailangan, kailangan po natin because these are the last days, brothers and sisters. Amen. If the Lord tarries, we have to complete our mission. Hindi natin papayagan na manaig ang jablo sa buhay natin nang hindi natin natatapos ang panawagan natin. Bawat isa sa atin ay mga all of us, we have our own individual callings. You are here because you are called. You have to know where your place is, your position, your calling. Amen. Your giftings, your grace. And all throughout this year, we will function according to the leadership of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So, sabi po doon sa binasa natin kanina, John 7, 37 to 40. Do you believe that the Holy Spirit is doing what the Bible says He, uh, he is doing in the life of a person? Naniniwala po ba kayo? Naniniwala ba kayo sa mga isiner ko sa inyo na kailangan natin ang banal na Espiritu? So, ngayong umagang ito, willing ba kayo natanggapin ang banal na Espiritu? Amen? I pray that all of us, alam nyo, walang kinikilala ang banal na Espiritu. Sabi, sa, walang, walang sinisino. Amen? Sabi sa binasa natin, on the last day, that great day of the feast, Jesus stood and cried out saying, if anyone, anyone, anyone who thirsts, Na, nagugutom ba kayo? Do you thirst for more of God in your life? More of His revelation, more of His glory, more of His righteousness, more of His anointing, more of His grace, more of His wealth, more of His wisdom, more of His understanding. If you are thirsty, you are that person. You qualify. Amen. Alam niyo kung bakit tubig? Kasi anyone is entitled to drink. Hindi siya special na kailangan mahal para bilhin mo, para ikaw ay makainom. Sabi ng Panginoong Jesus, if anyone who thirst, ang, ang requirement lang dyan, naguguto, nauuhaw ka. Amen? 
Let him come to me and drink. Kanino ka pupunta? Kay Jesus. Because Jesus is the one who baptizes us in the Holy Spirit. Amen. He who believes in me. Nananampalataya ka ba sa Panginoon? Na siya ay anak ng Diyos? Na siya ay Diyos? Na siya ay dumating para ikaw ay mabigyan ng buhay na ganap at kasiya. You know, Jesus came to give us eternal life. To reconcile us to the Father. Amen. He did not only come to destroy sin. It so happened that sin is the biggest obstacle to get us to the Father. Kaya kailangan i-deal din yon ng Panginoong Jesus and all the byproducts of sin. But the purpose is of Jesus is to reconnect us back to God. Amen. So sabi niya, if you come, he who believes in me, as the scripture has said, out of his heart or belly will flow rivers of living water. Lahat po ng sinabi ko sa inyo kanina na ginagawa ng Holy Spirit, yun po ay supply, provision na nanggagaling sa atin. Amen. All blessings are spiritual. They get to be manifested on earth, amen, by the Holy Spirit. Amen? And then, but this He spoke concerning the Holy Spirit, whom those believing in Him would receive, for the Holy Spirit was not yet given. Amen? So this morning, we will receive the Holy Spirit baptism. Amen? Sabi po sa Isaiah 55, verse 1, Ho, everyone who thirst, come to the waters, and you who have no money, come buy and eat. The Holy Spirit is free, but it is not cheap. It cost God everything He had. Amen. Come and buy, buy and eat. Yes, come, buy wine and milk. Milk is the basic necessity of life. Food, clothing, shelter, education, etc. Grumaduate na tayo sa basic. Kung kailangan mo ng sasakyan, you want, want to move around, you may settle for a motorcycle or a tricycle. But God wants to give you the best. Yeah. Amen? That is the wine. The wine is the best for you. Alam nyo, if you look at water, if you read the book of John, sa chapter 2, Jesus uh, converted the water into wine. In John 3.3, 3, He gave us the uh, water of salvation to be born again. Sa chapter 3, binigay niya sa atin yung living water. He said to the Samaritan woman, the water I give is a living water. Then sa chapter 5 ng John, He gave us the cleansing water. The pool in Bethesda, yung sinabi ni, that water is a cleansing water. It's a living water. It's a satisfying water. It's, um, it's a healing water. In Revelation, it is a healing water. We all need this water. Amen. It's free for the taking. Isaiah 49 verse 10. So without money, hindi kailangan ng pera nyo para tanggapin ninyo yun. <laughs> Mas mura pa siya. Wala, wala, wala free siya kaysa sa absolute ano. At saka wins, Wilkins. Isaiah 49 verse 10, They shall neither hunger nor thirst. If you partake of this water, no more hunger. You will not be hungry. You will not thirst. Neither heat nor sun shall strike them. Hindi kayo strike ng baha. Lalangoy kayo sa baha. Amen. For he who has mercy on them will lead them. Even by the springs of water, he will guide them. Amen. Are you ready? May I ask everyone to just stand up? Today, we ask, we will drink from the fountain of life. Brothers and sisters, may I request all the pastors to just, those who want to Alam nyo po, pagka tayo ay na-feel ng Holy Spirit, some of us will speak in tongues. Just allow the Holy Spirit to do what, it wa- what He wants to do in your life. Amen? Just open, you may speak in tongues. Yun ang first evidence ng baptism sa Holy Spirit. 
Kasi to ito ay tubig, di ba? Binabaptize tayo sa water. Today, let us uh, be baptized in the Holy Spirit. Nabaptize na ako sa Holy Spirit, Pastora. Well, I tell you, you need a refilling. Amen. Every time, we need a refilling. Hallelujah. Wala dito, hindi nangangailangan ng refilling. Amen. So, yung iba sa inyo, maaaring... Uh, as we commune with the, with the Lord, with, the whole, with, God, with Jesus today, the Lord may give you the spirit of laughter. Just feel free. Huwag po kayong makontain dyan sa inyong mga upuan. If you want to, yung mga iba, the, the pastors will move around. Yung iba, kung gusto ninyo, dito kayo sa altar. You may want to kneel at the altar. It's okay. You may, the Lord may give you the spirit of laughter, the spirit of joy, or the Lord may uh, prompt you to dance, or to leap, or to jump. It's between you and God. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, wag mo akong pakialaman pag ako'y napuspos. Tatanggalin ko ang aking high heels. Kasi baka ako ay lumundag-lundag. Amen! Just be expectant. Hallelujah! Be expectant. Amen. So, uh, yung mga pastors po, pwede po kayo dito sa, uh, ano, let us get ready to minister to the people. Uh, as we worship the Lord, let us just allow the Holy Spirit to descend upon the people this morning. Brothers and sisters, if you are thirsty, you will be filled. That is the promise of God. Sino po yung mga bago pa lang sa Rema? First time po ninyo na mag-attend. Kung first time po ninyo na mag-attend, praise the Lord. Uh, ganito lang po, sabi mo, Panginoong Jesus, I receive you today in my heart. Be my Lord and Savior. I pray that the Holy Spirit will fill me today as I open my mouth to drink from the river of life. So, it is important for you to drink. Meron bang nagdi-drink na nakaganyan? <laughs> Wala kang madi-drink. You drink with your mouth open. Amen. So, kung magtatangs kayo, it's okay. Kung magtatangs kayo at yung Holy Spirit pinaprad niya kayo na magtangs ng malakas, Okay, pero huwag lalabas yung ano nyo, ha? Laway nyo. <laughs> Kung magtatangs kayo, it's okay naman na magtangs kayo silently. It doesn't matter. Amen po ba? Praise the Lord. Come on, let's worship the Lord. If you want to kneel, if you want to, to dance, if you want to just open your mouth and receive. Hallelujah. To the river of life, to the time
Samahan ko po yung gustong tumanggap sa banal na isigiri. Come on, your coming to the altar indicates that you are willing to receive it. Dito po, dito, dito. Anyone, those who want refilling, those who want to be filled with the Holy Spirit today, come on. Come on, brothers and sisters. The Holy Spirit is here. Rabba Basuchi. Come if your soul is thirsty. Join you in the drink of the mercy. Pwede po kayong nakatayo. Pwede nakaluhod. Rabba Basuchi. Rabba Basuchi. Rabba Basuchi. Rabba Basuchi. Rabba Basuchi. You will find here in here. Open your mouth to drink. Magkumaha, nagtatas ng Holy Spirit is prompting you to pray in tongues. Come on, 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 p